Hi, John here. I'm just going to have a duck on. Okay, Morris, uh, John here. Uh, I wasn't very happy with uh, what Bundy had to say yesterday. <coughs> with the... Uh, hello? 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Bundy rang me yesterday. He, he's been trying to put me off with that Taheke hui. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not good. I told him what's, what's the problem and he, uh, he, uh, he knew then what the Manukau thing was all about. I said the whole the whole whakapapa's up the hill and uh, they're going to find out sooner or later. Now now this thing with uh, the Queen and everything is just going to drop a big bombshell on the whole thing. Um, with that uh, um, the thing, that, that article on the, on the news now, Par Paradise Papers, Tax Haven, including the Queen is exposed, all that sort of thing. I've been through that before but he just said, no, nah, the mana's not in that marae. I said, oh, well, I'm going this way, and you fellas go the other way. I says, but don't expect any money from this lot because it's a clean cut off. Yeah, it really upset me yesterday. Uh, but, uh, however, that's not going to deter us from going ahead. He, 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 I think he understands now where all this is going. Uh, uh, will he, you know, will, will he pay that? Yeah. Yeah. And he says, oh, he comes from Hori Tikuri. And I said, oh, yeah, is that right? He said, oh, yeah, my uh, Hori Tikuri was here in the 1700s. Uh, well, 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 she's come up the Taika River. I said, oh, is that right? And he said, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, no, and I said, and I said, well, my father, I said, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not there, I'm not there, nah, nah. I said, my one, this Hori Tikuri. I said, I've got everything pertaining to him and that. Yeah, no, that's what Bundy said, the same thing, exactly. What? That, that um, uh, with, with Kuri being up, up the top, I said, well, I'm only following British. And, and Moira Hoffman Russell is, yeah. is privy to that from Rowani. She, she knows all this. She, she knows more than those Maoris about the Maoris themselves, about who was who on the well, land. He's not happy with it. Eh? He's not happy with it. No, no, he's not happy because... It's taken the mana away from him and what he's doing with the native court that I opened. I said, Bundy, I opened the native court because it's British. It's nothing to do with anything else and it's nothing to do with that flag. Because it was before that, these are contracts and banks and money. I says, but you fellows are not about money, so you don't expect to get any. You see? Because you're going to try and do it yourself and get money yourself by taking them on, I said they're too big, mate. The Freemasons will, will knock anybody out of the way if you didn't know it's bigger than just here. Why well, don't they want to think they're going to go ahead? Eh? Because they don't know, because they don't know anything about it. No. Them. Yeah, so they've only just hopped on this waka, and I've been on it for so long that it, I've, I've never known Bundy to be anywhere, anywhere near these confederation things where those chiefs was going through, they're all dead now and left every balloon thing on my head. And he doesn't know, he, he thinks he can just jump on, pick up, uh, pick up the native court and run with it. But he got no document. I said, Bundy, the British are watching what you're doing and they're watching what I'm doing. So why hasn't anything happened to me yet? But when you fellas start tampering with these, you're a third party to the two-party contract between King George and this Tila Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka, and he claimed Tila Waikato. He said, I said, was he a male or a female? See? And he says, no, he was a male. I said, right, if, you, if you're claiming Waikato's up there, he was here all the time down, down in Mangatotali, down in uh, Cambridge, and that's where the British picked him as their title on that Native Land Act. You see, he, 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 he can't see that the Native Land Act 1862 formed all the titles in the will.
He, he can't go outside this country other than just up at Nazi Kuri. He can't stretch right across the country to absorb all the peoples here and then where the flag went around the world to absorb all those people there with that the Crown made money out of that flag. Little did they know, there's no mana on Titi Marai and he's saying the mana is there. I said, no, that's just waving flag and nothing there. There's nothing there. They've got nothing to go on because the treaty's a fraud. It's, 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 it's a contract that they're stuck in and they've got the Treaty of Water and he's stuck. They can't get out of it. And now he's gone with Georgie Job with the Maori government. That's worse. And then he's gone to ha hold... Uh, uh, Calvin Davis is handing the Labour Party and they're in a mess in Parliament. You see, they don't know which way to go. And then with uh, with uh, Sean Elias opening the Parliament up, just the 57th Parliament or something, 52nd Parliament, they went and opened it without the Governor-General. Again, they did that before with, with uh, Jerry Montpellier. I warned them not to open Parliament without the, the 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 consent of the Queen, the seal of the Queen and the seal of Westminster. Well, they did it again. You see, they just keep doing it because they know Mary can't see it. Well, and, you know, we'll be looking again, but I don't think that they are really mean. But, uh, but I'm going to say this, you know, you've got to come to the league. You need to come to the league. Yeah, you know? they, 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 need, day, right? they, they need to come with documents. That's why I said to, to Bundy. It's the documents that matters with money, and it's about money, the commerce of those native courts. But he knows about documents. Eh? But he knows about documents. Uh, he's got an idea. You've got them, yes. But it's that, that's what's going to be discussed there. How do they get the authority? You've got yours from those documents. I'm saying those documents are gold, but they, they are not privy to. That's between me and you and the Crown in Britain. You see? And they, they have to have the same titles. If they haven't got a deed, they've got nothing to go on. Because these deeds made the titles they've got. You see? He can't think that he can just jump on. He's never never been in this before. He's just picked it up and read it and said, right, I'll pick this and I'll pick that. I'll pick that little bit out of John Book and that and that. He doesn't realise he's getting into a whole lot of trouble legally. With the big boys, the big, the big Freemasons, are, they're the assassins that anybody gets in right, they're going to kill them. You see, that's why I haven't got a, you know, any threat from anywhere of, of that side because I'm being very careful what I do with their papers. All the documents in this country belong to them, the Scots. No, he, he doesn't want you to go and go with what the documents like to come No, to. no, he, he, he refutes anything with... Ratana or Taheke or native courts. Yeah. He, 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 he's saying, no, the mana's up there and the Tira Waikato is up there. I said, no, nah. he was all over the country and he, he got the country title and that comes from down in Waikato. Not, Waikato's not up there, it's down the other way. You see, so he's claimed that Tupuna because he's reading it on my book as being Hongi and, and, and Tira Waikato. But Hongi wasn't interested in, in in documents or contracts or anything. He only wanted the muskets. That's all they got. That's all he got is a musket. That's all he's got. Not a musket and no contract. Well, we got documents and that's where the money's made from documents. To to develop lands and everything. And they they just think that Arikis is everything. No, they don't make money. If you, if you talk in that language on documents, and they've got, he's just made a proclamation. That's only just fresh off the press. The proclamations I've done is 20 years old. From one chief to the other, and the proclamation that the, the, that the Moriori was a title, that the British did. And I proclaimed it in, in the Marae at, at, uh, at uh, Te Unga Waka, and I, I proclaimed it on uh, the Waitangi Marae, Titi Marae down the East Coast, and now we're going to proclaim it again on Taheke Marae, and that's what he can't, he can't think that all this time of research, he can just pick up somebody else's research and run with it. It's not going to work. And they won't get the money either, because the Crown, the Queen is not there for them. 
than going after the queen, but she's not there. She's gone. She's fraud, just like the whole business of the Mary Lanko. You see? I told him. I'm, I'm going there on Saturday morning. Oh, you're going there morning. You're going to stay Saturday morning. You're going to go with him. What's that? Are you, gonna, are you just going to go with him Saturday morning? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to come down. You don't have to come down because all I want to do is set my, my table up, put my things on, and then take the photo with me videoing in there that I'm in there with with those documents with the new fresh pages and to take up to Taheke. I'm going to swear it and put... See, I can... I can, I've only got Manahi's signature and his um, uh, uh, JP f stamp. I just photocopy it straight on because we made an agreement. What's that? What do you think of this? What's that? Well, what do you think of this? Who? Uh, man Manahi. Manahi? Yeah, Manahi. He's the Moriori. He, he's, he's the Moriori that's, uh, that's um, uh, a descendant of the Manikau Moriori. What well, does he think of what we do? Bang on! It's correct. Any any fellow that works in the court like him, he works in the courts. No, it's exact. Right? He doesn't. He's doing the court papers all the time, as a just as a piece and also as a crown. You see, he's on both sides of the crown: British and uh, uh, a New Zealand crown. So uh, Manahi is is in the justice system to make it accountable and I needed a JP as a judge in the court, right? In a, nat in a native court. He's the judge in a native court and to make things better, he's a Ratana native church, not a Pakia church, a native church. That, that, that's a big difference. The native Ratana is the only uh, recognized political uh, a native church that does documents and the government gets its permission from Ratna to use this 1862 Native Land Act. That's what I was telling Bundy. The government can't function without that Native Land Act. It's a contract. Everything is contract. And you have to have international contracts too with the EU, the United Nations, all that. He hasn't got... Yeah? What? <laughs> no, it's none of his business. It's a private. It's none of his, it's none of anybody's business. It's private. It's, yeah. it's private. Well, he was asking. He was asking me to. He shut his mouth when I did. I when I did it. Uh, all that you call his father is Ramaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shut up then. Yeah. So they. And then you hung the phone up. Yeah. So the thing is, they know that they can't move without a title. And especially, I said to Bundy, you had to have a surveyor's title with one chief on it of a whole area. The same as Lefa Lefa Manico, I told him, the whole of Pukekohe and Franklin area from Clevedon right across to the west coast to the east coast, <coughs> I think it was one title. That's Lefa Lefa Manico's title that formed the 1862 Native Land Act with Rogan. And he says, <coughs> So what's with Tiger? I said, it's exactly the same with Hori Tikuri as one chief that had the whole area. And that's the British put that there. And uh, Moira Russell is privy to that because she's a Russell from Russell. Right? She's the Russell family that's telling the story and saying, John, you're bang on. You're bang on. Yeah, that's a park here for you. And she says, let, yeah, because the Pakia put it together. They can't play with these documents because they're Pakias. They have to make their own, like me. I just borrowed the Pakia's documents and wrote all over it in my own fashion. They can't do that, and I've been doing it for years. And uh, I, I, I reckon, I reckon it's going to be um, quite a few people going to turn up here. Yeah, they'll come to see what's Kuri about and what's yeah. the native court about because it's, it's going to stuff all the treaty claims. I tell you, they've taken all the treaty claims from that title up there and the other one down in Pukekohe. The Minihinex stole the Manukau's Marae, the referee for Manukau's Marae at Afitu, that's the south end of the north, north end is Pupunga at Cornwallis. Right? Wow, well, 
and this, those are his two titles. In the Manukau Harbour, it's Manukau City, all the names with Manukau all over it, all over the country, and Chatham Islands, it's Manukau, the British put that name there. Not, not the, if the Kuni was there, up there, then they would have had more say in, in when they had the hui at, when I opened that, that te unga, uh, te, uh, the, that uh, te te hiku, hiku marae. No one, no one had nothing. I, I'm the only one that had the documents there. I opened up as, as a native court and he thinks he can run that one uh, over the top of your one. Right, I'm just making the same thing I did up there, but they had no documents to give to me. I just went straight over the top of it with the Manukau title. And, and now, and now the, the Ratana has that Mohi Manukau and the Rogans, the Rogans married the Mohi Manukaus, to put all those titles together to carry Rewhanewha's Manukaus title over. They stole that too. They stole the, 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 the Mohi Manukaus lot. I told Bundy, Mohi Manukaus, Manukau family, down the female side, stole the male side down in Cambridge, and that Refa Refa Manukau's area, and forged all their treaty claims out of it. That's going to wipe them all out, and I'm going to seize the whole country on that basis. That they corrupted the title for all those people up there. And, and, and Moira, Moira says she loves Napui, but she knows the Pakia stole the land like this. And she's, she's a witness in any court hearing I have. She'll go straight into it and stand up and say, John's right. Because it's her Russell family that put that Okiato native court together in Russell. The, the Navy, the first Navy that came, the Russells put it up. From, it came, she came over from, and her family came over from, from Rawani over to Okiato because the harbour was no good. So they took the whole thing over the other side. And that's where, she, and that's where she's got it all wrapped up. In fact, in fact she's writing a book about King John. <laughs> and I say, oh, it looks like I'm writing my own book. <laughs> but she's, she's just acknowledging that it's correct. That what I've been rolling out is correct. That's why no one can touch it. If anybody goes near it, the British will gump all over them. That's why I say I'm a titles man. I've been in real estate to know that and bank broken to know what a title is. And what, how they make money out of paper, bits of paper. And that's one you've got. They split the, the New South Wales government and the Maori, Maori uh, iwi split that title of your tupuna up into lots of bits and threw anybody on the land with shares. And they put immigrants on there so that they will look after the land. That's all it is. They got occupation titles only. So I'm going to seize the whole bloody lot after Cook Street. No, 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 you don't have to come oh, down. I'm just putting Manahi's signature straight onto the document, film it, right? I'm going to video it with, with my mate, um, uh, Dio. Oh, you, know, you want to be down, I'll come down. No, no, there's no, you stay there and organize that lot. Oh, and this is, just, this is just to sit inside the Marae on that day to... Well, then, well, I need to take my, uh, that low flag and then put it on the table and that? I think, oh. it, uh, I, I think... I think uh, we'll just take a photo. I'm, I'm not going to take it down because someone might grab it and rip the bloody thing or do something. I, I don't want it down there. I just want a photo. All right? A photo of the flag. The, the, um, I'll, I'll, uh, um, I'll take a photo of it to take and show them the photo. That's all. That, that's all. They're on the on the on the video on the on the laptop. Oh, the camera's Yeah. Yeah. That's all they'll see is a photo of it, and, and, and I don't want to take the flag there because someone might might uh, might um, uh, do something to it. Because, oh, yeah. Um, what about King George's flag? Do we need that down there, no? The King George. Oh, there's one flying down there. Then we've got one flying at the Marae every day. Uh, King George. Well, the one that, that, that the flag that's on my car, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, dead, yeah, that's King William the fourth. Yeah. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That, he, he's right. We're, we're, we're going with that. We're going with the 1834 side of the flag, joined to 1820, to King George the fourth. That's what they can't do. The contract. The contract is the thing. The flag is another. No, it's only thing that's Yeah, but I'm and, saying... I'm and, um, he saw him dead, and, um, you know, what we should do when you come up? Uh, we should go to, um, to the cemetery there. He's got a stone here, we know, with the fucking cover of that stone that is in the cemetery. Uh, okay, we'll go up there first. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me, let me have a look at it. There. Yeah, let me have a look at it, because that's the title there. The Memorial of the Burial yeah. is the yeah. title. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just photograph it as yeah, evidence. We'll up in hell, we'll yeah, yeah, I'll film it. Hey? Eh? Eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming up on the bus. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, coming up on the bus. So. Well, I yeah, yeah, and yeah. And, uh, oh, one, so, so the thing is, um, um, that'll add to the memorial itself, and I can talk to 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 him directly because there's only. One hoodie to cootie, right? There's not two. But 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 this this one will have the dates on the on the memorial. That that matters. Yeah. So that's all I want. It, it should have 1888 or something like that to go with the 1862. It, 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 but the thing is, he's buried. That's his memorial to that land, wherever the Tupuna. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, so I'll video that, um, um, to, so I know what I'm talking about. I'm not, I know what I'm talking about, but the memorials do matter with land title, with, with, with the, with the documents. Um, and, and, and that, uh, there can't be another one somewhere else, because they'll have to tell me, where is your tupuna that you're talking about, and where's the document that goes with it, you see? But they, they didn't want to have, see, they didn't want to have anything to do with documents. So that's theirs. They miss out on any uh, financial matters because they don't know. It's too late. They're making a mad rush because they're, Willie's saying, oh, we just read that this thing about the Queen. I said, well, it's a bit late, mate. The balls is bolted. It's gone. And, um, and that's been going on for a long time. Uh, and and they, they just grabbed a, a story and went with it, thinking, oh, we're going to go after the Queen. Look, he, he got, she got 13 million. No, she's got 17 trillion. That's in just land. And the rest is on top of it. You see, they don't know. They, they were only playing around with little figures. I said, Willie, it's gone beyond that. It's like an octopus. It goes in all directions. And this country is just one of the countries that they've gone into and used that Native wow. Land Act. They've used that land act all over the world because of what they did with Te Waikato in Edinburgh. Used one native and this little country to make their model for all the other indigenous countries in the world. There. That's how they do it. They president it's a president case. The, the thing is this, Bundy says, oh, there's Ratna's up there. I said, Ratna went everywhere, but he put the flags around, or the flag over there in Taheke, and, and that was, that's just the church. That's nothing to do with this contract with the British. It was just the church. And they had connections to Rogan, because Rogan hid underneath the church, right? The Pakia that married the Manukau's in the Kaipara and stole the other real Manukau's. They locked up Te Waikato for the here on Kauwau Island. That's those three chiefs, uh, Kauwau, Tinana and, 
and Tamaki, those three chiefs, Ngāti Whātua and, and Ngāpui, locked him up, caught him, and he, he got away and swam back to the shore, and, and he's buried up in Rafiti up the top of the hill. And they changed his name to Lewa. They split the Te Rewaikato Wharehere and Manukau's name in two bits and put Te Rewaikato as the Fiori uh, uh, uh Tupuna, a woman. Then I said to my Bundy, he says, holy blood in hell. I said, that's right Bundy, all those whakapapas up there, Ngāti Kau, Ngāti Kaua, uh, 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 and uh, uh, Te Hau, Te Tau, uh, all came out of this bodgy manaka and this Rogan <coughs> Pahia. <coughs> there, there, there. And Bundy's, he's done a backward flip. And he says, well, we are there to support you. He changed his tune. Into bring your title. Bring just tell him to bring his papers with his 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 proof on it. Just tell him to bring his documents of a title of him to the land. Otherwise, he can't talk. Bring your tupuna, the your papers and your memorials, any all the all the, of the land he's on to the marae he's on, bring those papers, uh, the Waipuna marae, that's his marae, up the, over there in um, uh, Pangaru, uh, bring those, bring the, bring the, like yours, bring your uh, survey with one chief on it, of, of your strongest chief on that marae with the memorial and a stone to, to claim your bit to the land. Don't claim this one because somebody's already got it. <laughs> And his name is Morris, <laughs> and he's living right there. He's like he, he's clever. He's clever to just hop in the church, and you'll be safe. <laughs> and that's why I feel safe in that that house, the yeah, house on the prairie, the house on the prairie. Uh, I feel safe that I, uh, something prodded me to finish the thing right off. We're, we're completing that for the British before I send the whole thing over to them. Oh, yeah, so no, no need to come down. Uh, uh, this is just a formality with the documents and the extra pages that are going to Taheke, that I swear, and Annette uh, Matthews, uh, she's the one in the, in the marae there, she says, you go and do what you have to do. You, I, you know where the key is. You see? You know they trust me. Uh, because I told him I have this Mariah all the time with Manukau. Now she's shocked that what Manukau did in, on the female and changed Te Rawakato in the female. She always suspected there was something wrong. And, uh, and now she knows, she says, holy hell! Uh, and now she's going to jump in and push this last bit. This is the last bit, last straw for this government. They can't, they can't contest it. They open the parliament up without the governor general. They have got nothing to go on. They're just fooling everybody. But I want them to stay there. I don't want to sack them and, and this married government, uh, Georgie and them, have no experience of international matters, even though they think they can do it. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I, I saw yeah, that. And, 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 well, well, yeah, well, don't you know what they were doing? You know what? Inexperience. Yeah, it's not only that. Peter's, Peter's, Peter's never came to, he never came to Parliament yesterday. And he was not to us on that. Yes. Yeah, so that's what they're doing now because they're keeping away from what I'm saying. No seal in the, in, the, in the government, no seal from the Queen, no seal from Westminster. They, that's why they're staying away. That's why he's staying away. He's, he's staying out and leaving the caucus to do the decision. Because he doesn't want to get caught up in what I'm doing as, as being uh, uh, liable if he's there in the caucus when it opens. And the Governor-General and Winston Peters, the ones that didn't turn up, know, the old heads that know, the old devils know that don't stand in there because we've got nothing. The treaty is nothing. The everything is nothing. This 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 Tahike will wipe them out. You watch what I say. The Tahike Marae will wipe them out. 
Oh, well, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know how I things... Huh? Yeah, that's why Bunny don't want to go there because he he wants to have the glory up there and a, and a new kid on the block that's just coming to the things I've been doing for years and, yeah. and he said to me, no, don't waste your time going there and I'm offended by that. With, with a man that I've been, goes through all this native court, then he grabs the native court and thinks he can do it. He got, he got, he got no legal papers. He's only got a proclamation and that's it. I can make another proclamation to go right over the top of that one and die again, that's the end of this one. Because I've got the titles to this whole country with the right tupuna. It's got to be the right tupuna. Not the one that's got no, no, a musket in his hand, that's not going to work. Um, if you've got a musket in your hand or a whakapapa coming out of your mouth, it's not going to work. It's got to be titles. Just the money, the money side. All these people making money here, they're sitting there, they're still going to carry on. Life is going to be carrying on as normal and a law. And he wants to bring a law in and he's framed the laws. He's got the whole United Nations got passed yet. He's got to get past the World Court yet. He's got to jump those hoops. And when he gets to Westminster, I'm going to be standing right there. He's got to get past me over there. Right? And he's got to get past uh, uh, the Navy over there. The Navy over here is crooked. So, so I'm just saying, I'm disappointed that he's abandoned me and gone the other way. They got the information from what I put together at the native courts, but he can't talk magistrate courts because he ain't got one. He's going to try and rely on what I'm writing and say, well, it's all I've got to see John. You see? The, the first thing they'll say, if, once he makes deals with the government or anybody, they'll, they'll say, where do you get your authority from? You see? And he can't say to, from... from uh, to Kuri, and that, it, uh, they'll say, well, where did that come from? Who gave that? And they'll end up on the British, not the New Zealand, they'll end up on the British. Mm. And that's where that comes unstuck, you see? I so, know yeah, I, I know documents and contracts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know contracts and, yeah. and, and how, how they make money from bits of paper. And so, all about, all about the bits of paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you rang, I answered it. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... If, if I'm wrong, yeah, that's, if you rang and I think I'll pick it up. Yeah, but that's... If it's someone else, I won't pick it up. Yeah, no, no. Because I've got the phone in my room and the one in here. Yeah, so that's why I won't ring her number, because she'll be at work and I needed to talk to you. Uh, all yeah, those, no, 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 I can't wait. Um, and if, uh, you're, uh, if you're not there, well, that's fine. I know you're yeah, not yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I thought, oh. he'll pick the phone up and, yeah, sure enough. <laughs> So, so you can't. Yeah, yeah. We'll sort we we'll sort one out because you can watch all the news directly on online, and and you it's easy to, to to go online. Just push the button, and once you get to know how to get online, and oh, yeah. and you can read all my all, all the things I'm doing. But it's easy. It's easy. You just push the button, the right button, and it'll it'll, it'll open up oh, all. Give me one of those phones, yeah, a smartphone, and, and uh -huh. there's cheap ones around. Uh, uh -huh. Um, but I, I yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. No, you'll soon get, you'll soon get used to. You, 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 you just push the right button and it'll just come straight up. Yeah, and and okay, okay. I'm going down to to Fakatane, uh, now soon. I'm just going to catch my bus. I'm going, I'm, I'm going down. Um, Jamie said her mother will fix the car, so I, I'm just going to drop my tools off and the battery battery jump thing and just leave there and come back. I, I got no time to fix it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Have a good day, man. Yeah. Hello, Marianne. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's um me old mate. <coughs> Morris. For the people in Napoli, I'm making this citation statement. Fact. Evidence. I'm going to keep saying it that the titles under the Rogan Manukau Whakapapa in Te Uriaho area and also in the 
Pukekohe Franklin area and also the Auckland area is corrupted of the real Manukau under the George Connolly side of the family in Huntley. I'm saying that uh, I don't know whether he's alive or not, I, 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 I guess not, because he'll be as old as me. But he was saying to me all along, John, that's not the right Manukau's. We're the Manukau's down here in Cambridge, all that area, all right? And in particular, Tina Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau is a Moriori from Cambridge, okay? Now, what happened is this. The name Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau was split into by Mr. Rogan, the British Crown Agent from Australia for the New South Wales New Zealand Crown Government under the New Zealand Company of New South Wales, Queen Victoria and then Queen Elizabeth, Monarch Sovereign Fraud, that you can see on the, these documents that are on, online now, um, that the Queen is embroiled in fraud. Caught out. Checkmate. Coming up. So, Paradise Papers. Tax haven secrets of super rich including the Queen exposed. The Queen has become embroiled in a leak of financial documents relating to investments in offshore tax haven. There. <coughs> I'm saying this. <coughs> on this video to you and the world watching that the Native Land Court Act of 1862 in New Zealand was born out of Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau Paramount Chief 1820 to 1830 period under King George IV in his area of Waikato region of this country, New Zealand, of his whole New Zealand country title that he sold with the Pacific to King George IV through Lieutenant William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy. There. That's a sale and purchase agreement with Tira Waikato Whareherehere in Here Manukau as a commercial land owner his name in capitals. Then in 1830 that contract continued on after King George IV died to his brother next to nine to the monarch King William IV. Now that contract went to Refa Refa Manukau in capital letters in the book with the receipt I put right on the front of the court hearing we had in Tunga Waka Marae in Auckland on the Manukau's land. Okay, you got that far? Right. Here's where it gets grisly for all you Maoris. <coughs> Refere for Manukau. In 1862, after the Treaty of Waitangi and Te Tiriti was signed, well after the 1834 flag, this flag was given by King William IV in 1834, the 11th. The <coughs> it was given on the 10th of March 1834 by the British Navy from King William IV through these Manukau's. Through these Manukau's, the first one, Te Rewakato, and then Rewharewha Manukau, on that basis, contract. It's a contract bank trading flag of Navy military protection of the Manukau company business that was set up in Edinburgh Magistrate Court with this one paramount chief, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. Right? <coughs> so, now the 1834 flag is attached in a private contract, that's what it is, it's an admiralty court martial law against pirates who tamper as third parties to that contract. 
if you know contract law and banking, broking and transactions and transfer of land from native title through a native land act to the King of England. On the documents that I have for Taheke Marae has to the King, not the Queen. That's in 1888 on those survey with Hori Tikuri. Now, he's buried right there where I slept, just a few paces away. He's buried right there. I'm going to film that memorial because the memorial forms the basis of a native title to the bits of paper of documents to the Bank of England or any bank to borrow money to develop the lands. You got that part? Right. <coughs> now, the Native Land Act was formed on that Refa Refa Manikau's Pukikaui land title on the 11th of November 1862. The New Zealand and New South Wales Government Crown made that act fit that native land under British title and the same title is in Tahiti Marae. You see, I've been setting up these native magistrates court. I'm going there to open up that already original native court where those titles were put together. They were put together in the district county under the municipalities act. That's in the book I have of King William IV, Acts of Parliament, that I told Bundy to use. He won't use them because it doesn't fit his proclamations and his formation of upper house that I've been involved with for the last 20 years. It never got off the ground and never will under a Maori iwi title from New South Wales with fraud in it. Everything with Maori on it is fraud. No matter, no matter what Bundy says, <coughs> anybody coming to that hui in Tahiti Marae must bring a deed of title with one tupuna on it. There can't be two hori tikuris on a British survey title with its own deed where all the rest of the titles came out of. <coughs> now, <coughs> it so happens that I'm sleeping in that Ratna church, little house, seven by seven metres, square, on that landlock where Morris occupied that house. And the Crown won't go near it. They come and say, you don't pay your land rates? No. All these ten blocks? No. You see? He knew what he was doing, but he didn't have the way to make it stick in documents. In fact, he's a document man of much research. Same as me. I can relate to everything he's got about titles and who's on the land. How did you get there? Right? Now, Tira Waikato. We're back on that. The name Tira Waikato was split by Rogan and the Manukau family in the Kaipara. Mohi Temati Manukau the first, the second, the third, the fourth, in the Pakia side of female bloodlines. They put Tira Waikato from Waikato, split the name and made it female into a male mahanga chief married a tera waikato and a ripiro, two women. Then all the te tau, narikawa, uh, narikahu, uh, te roroa, um, uh, te tau, te all the hapu came off that line. 
that chief is a Moriori. He's not a Tahitian or neither is he a Cook Island. That's why the British picked those Moriori's from Chatham Islands, which was called Rekohu Country, and put that on the British title. Because they brought the names from there, the Manukau name came from there to here, the Waitangi name came from there to here, the Moriori names. They owned those names, and Hikarangi, and a few other names. And then the Maoris, and this Rogan, and this Manukau, went back the other way and put Farikari there, as blotching over that lot. They did the same on my land block, and blotched over my Marangaro land blocks, Marae, Marangaro Marae, with Aotere Marae, and put that all over it, and pull my tūpuna out. They did that all over the Manukau titles in <coughs> Afitu on the Manukau Marae, because I've got those on film as evidence, right? No one's going to cheat this lot because the Minihenex stole the Minihenex from up there. The same park here stole everything because, I'll tell you what, Bundy flipped over backwards when I told him the name was email on the titles and the whakapapa and the treaty claims. I said to the Office of, office of the Treaty Settlements, OTS, Rachel Holbrook, take that name, Manukau, off all the treaty claims and you've got nothing. All the treaty claims, I, I, I'm, I'm ordered them to take that name off. They're still using it because they can't do without it with their Pākehā titles. This time I'm going to take it off up in Tahiti in that native magistrate court when I reopen it for business. Business. Commercial trading bank business with the pound note on anyone's head who gets in the way as a third party. Bundy, as far as I'm concerned, the Maori government, the Whakamininga, the Iwi Maoris, the Maori Land Court, New Zealand government, Intrusion New Zealand Limited, the police, all the Crown agents, the churches, and state, and everyone connected in business to them are third parties. Okay, they are third parties to Te Rawaikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, and King George IV. That's without King William IV. It's a done deal in contract law. I know contract law back to front and native titles because the Rogans married the Wanoors with the brain and the Cosgroves lawyers married the Wanoors at the East Coast. And that's why I know so much from just intuition and in the blood, apart from the native in me in Rapa Nui. We don't pull guns on anybody or spill blood or talk about wars and cry all the time, foul of the law. The law is there to observe because unless you've got your own law to cater for everyone in this country, not just you up there at Ngāti Kuri, it's everybody has got to buy it first, Bundy. I've been hard selling what I'm doing online for a long, long time on Facebook, 106 Facebook sites, <coughs> 1,200 YouTube videos teaching people the truth. Moai deeds of truth and these deeds of title on documents. One spirit and one man law, L-A-W, the Moai spirit, L-O-R-E, truth and nothing but the truth. I'm telling the truth, Bhante. When I go to to, uh, to Taige, Marai, I'm telling the truth. It's up to anybody to say not so. Because so far, I told you, Bhante, that no one's saying anything. When you zip your mouth and say nothing, it's true. I've given everyone enough rope to hang themselves with all the statements I'm making, and this is just another one. I'm on my own, Bhante, and the man up there. All right? I'm on my own. Whatever I say, do, write, and display, is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's Okay, I don't have to say much more. I'm in sure to catch my bus. 7.49, eh? I better, I better start scooting. But it goes about 10 o'clock uh, to uh, Whakatane. 
So I'll, I'll, I'll just finish this video off by saying this. Bundy, <coughs> you told me this in ending on this video. You told me when I asked you, you said this. Tira Waikato is up there in Nakikuri. That's what you're saying. He's up there. And I said, is your Tira Waikato you're talking about a male or a female? And this is what he said. A male. There. A male up there. A female in Tūriho, in, in uh, Helensville, Awaroa, Bank, Magistrate Court, Rogan and Manukau, John Rogan to be exact, land agent, surveyor, land surveyor, with more he's a land surveyor, with his grandfather, John Rogan, or Rokena on the receipt. That Rokena <coughs> is responsible to, there was many, uh, not more than one John Rogan. Australia had their John Rogan, then another John Rogan here, and then another John Rogan, right? And a Dick Rogan down at Huruera, <coughs> on the B3 block, the Marangaroa, B3 block married Orai Tiwanoa. There. You got it? The Rogans married my family. And that's why I'm talking like this, with authority, straight to Britain on any piece of land, Bundy. It's only occupation titles with documents that make money so that it can develop land. Now, since you said Waikato was up there, tell me this, why did Hongi Hiko and them want him dead? That's another story you don't know, because they were chasing him and because he was going from one marae to the other. He was down through the Waikato, down to um, his um, ancestors' marae at um, um, Mangatotari Mountain, Pa side, <coughs> and then he went back to his own Pa at Afitu, Manukau Pa side, and then he crossed over to Pupanga, Manukau Pa up in, um, above Cornwallis, and that's where William Simons, the son of the Lieutenant Simons, magistrate, the man with the book in his hand, son came with the book in his hand and said the land belongs to the British King, William the Fourth at Puponga, and that's where they settled there. All those people there have come from England under that King William title, <coughs> back to that King George title. Those two kings formed the basis of all the Reform Acts of Westminster to consolidate right back to King Solomon's minds, to William the Conqueror, to King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and the Pound Note, and the municipalities, Eight Point Star St. Patrick's Church, through <coughs> to uh, <coughs> King William the Fourth, 